Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this tonight's video is not so much about tricks or how to draw in Corel Draw as far as how to put this card case box together, playing cards or really anything, and you could probably resize it and make, you know, even a bookcase or something or a Bible case. It'd be pretty cool, but it's a, uh, I really want to make a video on how I drew it, but it it would take forever because uh, this thing took me most of the day to draw and work it out. So I'm going to show you the part and I'm going to post this on Epilogue's fan page, Epilogue's Facebook page. Um, so go to Epilogue Laser fan page and I'm going to share the file. It'll be there in their file section under uh, box playing cards and I'm going to save it in X3 for more people to use in all the components. These, this picture won't be in it, but the, everything will be in red hairline to cut out. So this is the main, you know, the main part of the, the box. And um, I just made these other things black hairlines for a second, just kind of showing the video where they're going to go. And, um, so after you cut it out, I would suggest you sand it. I'm a big believer in sanding. It makes it look a lot better. And it also is going to make you, it actually make it going to fit a little better. I drew these really tight. And even after sanding, you're going to have to tap these three pieces down with a slight touch of a hammer, which makes it a little tricky because this, this has a hole in it. So you can't really put too much pressure on that edge, but uh, you can put pressure on this edge, you know, by maybe putting a thin board or a, some something down there to tap it down in the holes. But anyway, you need to kind of put these three pieces together loosely. They, they will fit, kind of fit loosely together before you start putting them in the holes. Because if you don't do that, it won't fit. You know, you if you put this piece in, you'll never get this piece in. So you've got to kind of put these three pieces together. And then the latch is... Uh, so everything's going to be cut out, but these these two pieces are going to fit in this slot first. This piece is actually inside of this wall. Then this piece fits on top of this piece. This piece right here fits on top of this piece. And then this piece is a piece that's already in your board or in your deal. So it's going to slide over that part. And this is the sliding mechanism to make it slide. And then this is the last piece that uh, presses on. And, and because it, you can't have it laying flat, you've already got connected to the box. Uh, you know, maybe a little bitty clamp to squeeze them together. It's surprisingly that it still moves after you've squeezed them together. And just one word of warning when you put yours together, if you cut this out and you want to, you're going to want these ears for the lock to be going in the right the direction toward the right. If you're looking at it like this, it won't work the other way. So what this does, this piece right here slides back and forth, locking that lid down. And it's, I drew this and it's not perfect. Uh, you actually have to kind of uh, stretch it just a hair because that's part of the flex joint. Uh, it's surprisingly, how much that joint will move, but you kind of flex it over those keepers. And then, uh, so these little thumb places right here, right here for pushing that over. And you might have to put a slight pressure and it's tight. I mean, once it's done, it's uh, good and tight, but I will post that file and uh, hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.